Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about, uh, we are going to understand inference rules. We will understand one of them. We, in our next class, we are going to discuss list of inference rules. So, this is very, very important class to understand. In order to understand this class, you should have a basic idea about what tautological implies means. We discussed that in our last class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's try to understand with an example. Let's say that uh, take two statements. Yes, one is a statement. What its statement says is, uh, if it is snowing, then they will not play match. This is one statement they have provided. And they have provided second statement. It is snowing. So, from these two statements, we can write it as P is an atomic statement, it is snowing. Q is an atomic statement, they will not play match. Now, these two statements S1 and S2 can be written as if it is snowing, then they will not play match. This is in the form of P implies Q. S1 can be written as P implies Q. And it is snowing, S2 can be written as P. So, so, up to now, we already know these basic things from our beginning classes. So, statement S1 is called as P implies Q. Statement S2 is called as P. So, now let's, this is the point we need to understand. If these two statements are true, can we say that Q is true? This is the question. See, someone has said you, these two statements are true means P implies Q that is true. Yes, two P is true. If someone has said you that these two statements are true, then can you say that Q is true? Yes, we can say that Q is true. Understand with the statements, understand with the statements. If it is snowing, then they will not play match. This is in the form of P implies Q. What's the meaning of P implies Q? If P is true, then Q has to be true. That is what the meaning of P implies Q. So that is what they say that uh, S1, S2, these two statements are true. That is what they are going to say. P implies Q, when it is going to be true? If P is true, then Q has to be true. And what they are saying that S2 is a statement P. And they are saying that P is true, means P happened. It is snowing. If from these two statements, what we are going to understand? It is snowing from the second statement. If it is snowing means from the above statement, what we can conclude that Q is going to be true. They will not play match. Yes, from these two statements, if someone says you, these two statements are true, then definitely, then confirmly you can say that uh, Q is going to be true. So this is the point you need to understand. So, the other way we are going to understand the inference rules means uh, this, is, this is what one of the inference rule is. If P implies Q, P implies Q. If someone says that P implies Q is true and they said that uh, P is true, then you can definitely say that Q is going to be true. Because from these two statements, we can conclude that uh, Q is true. The other way we are going to understand these inference rules, uh, in our last class, we clearly discussed that uh, tautological implication. Uh, see, someone had said you that uh, these two statements are true. This can be written as, uh, this can be written as uh, P conjunction P implies Q. Then this entire statement is going to be true because someone had said that these two are true. Conjunction, when it is going to be true? Both are true, then the conjunction is going to be true value. So, P conjunction P implies Q, then you can say that uh, if this statement is true, then you can say that Q is going to be true. When you can say this uh, from the other point of, from the tautological implication, see, understand it. Uh, this is one proposition. 
implies this is second proposition if first proposition implies second proposition is tautologically implied what's the meaning of that tautological implication means uh, this implies this is going to be a tautology when it when when this proposition a implies b if it is a tautology what's the meaning of that uh, if this is true then it has to be true then only it is it is going to be a tautology otherwise it is not going to be tautology in our last class we clearly discussed this when it is going to be tautology So from the other side you need to understand, from the second side you need to understand, one proposition implies, second proposition is tautologically implied means if this is true then you can say that this is also going to be true. This is the point you need to understand. If you understand this, it is easy to solve the examples on inference rules which we are going to be discussed in our coming classes. So, if someone said that uh, these two statements are true, from these two statements you can say that this is going to be true. This is what we are going to use. This is what we are going to use in our uh, coming classes. Hope you understand this inference rules concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.